Today I'm going to walk you through building a project to upload files to your Google Drive from Google Sheets. We're going to use a little interface here on a custom menu and we're going to choose a file and upload it. So before we move forward in this, let me show you where we're going to upload this to this folder here. And so let me go ahead and choose a file and we'll upload it to demo this. So once it's uploaded, you can see it's there. Here is the file. We can actually click it directly from there to view the file. So that's all it takes to upload the file using this interface. And so now we are going to build this from scratch. So here we have the app script file. You can see it is currently blank. Let me go ahead and increase our zoom just so it's a little easier for you to see and follow along. So first of all, I'm going to grab our folder ID from here. And we're going to start off with let folder ID equals that folder ID. Next, let's make a menu item. And we're going to wrap this in an on open. So on open runs whenever the Google Sheet is opened. So we're going to grab that UI, which is how we display a menu. And that's spreadsheet app dot get UI. Now we're going to create our menu. And I'll just call this script menu. And then we can add our items. So let's just call this upload files. And then we need to reference our function we're going to use. And I'll just call it upload file. And then finally, add to UI. All right, so now let's go ahead and put this together. So this is going to display our HTML. So we're going to go ahead and do let window equals HTML service create HTML output from file and we're going to call our file index.html and then we can go ahead and set the window size so set width 600 window set height 400 then finally we're going to go ahead and display this so this is also through the get UI then we're going to do show modal dialog. And then our title for this will be upload file. All right, so that will display. And then I'm going to add one more function here. We'll come back and do this later. This will be our save file function. And the E will be the object that will get passed from our HTML. And then we'll go ahead and add our index HTML file. We'll just call this index. The HTML is added automatically. Let's go ahead and rename this. We'll call it upload file. All right. So I'm going to grab um, a couple things here for the head. So I'm going to grab. Bootstrap. I just like to use Bootstrap to add a little functionality here. Um, I'm also going to add the Bootstrap down here at the bottom for the script. This will just add the JavaScript part that we need for a little spinner that we're going to add. And so then inside our body, let's go ahead and using our Bootstrap, we're going to do a div with class of container and then we'll do div with ID of form and then div ID file upload and then a div we'll just do class mb3 all right and then what we need to actually upload is our input ID of file type equals file on change equals save file with this. 
we'll go ahead and close that out. And now we can close our div here. And then I'm going to add one more div. I'm just going to add a progress spinner. I just like to add a little of this class equals spinner border. With a role of status. And then we're going to start out with display equals none. So it's not showing up when we first load. And now we can just close out our divs. So close out our div and our div. And then I'm going to format the document, make sure we got it closed up. There we do. All right. So now all we need to do is actually add the script to send our file from our HTML. So this file is separate when we pull this up like we did on the original. It's separate than this code.js because this is on the server side and this will be on the client side is how it's termed. So we need to communicate um, our file selection and send it to our Google Sheet. So what we're going to do is add a function here and we need to call it save file and then we'll just use f to denote our file. So. Uh, first of all, I'm going to get our progress spinner and then we'll do style display equals block and that will turn this from display none to display block. All right, and now we can go ahead and get our file. So we'll go ahead and do this. And so this will get the file that we select. And then we're going to use a JavaScript function called file reader. And then we want to do onload. So when this function onloads, we want to then run this. So function E. And then what we're going to do is put together our object that we're going to send. So object equals and then let's go ahead and do file name and then mime type. So this is going to be the file type here. And finally we need to do this bytes thing to actually grab the data. And so we're going to do this int eight array and then we'll get that e target result all right so you don't have to fully understand how this all works um, i'll have the code available for you guys because i know it gets a little complicated so um, here's what we're going to do is now we need to actually send it to the google script so what we're going to do is this thing called google.script.run and then um, I'm going to add another little function here. So for successful, um, we're going to display the data we have. So we're going to add this with success handler and then we're going to send that data. Right, let me get rid of that extra space there. So we'll send that to that success function. And then the function we actually want to run on the Google Sheet side. So this part is on this side here. So it's going to send that data to this data function here. And then on the Google Sheet side, we're going to send it to this function. And so we're going to do save file. And then we create this object here. And so we're going to send that. So what this is going to do is it's going to create um, run this Google script called save file. And if it runs successfully, it's going to trigger our success with the data that's returned. All right. So one more thing we need to add on this browser side before we move to the server side 
is a quick buffer function. So that way our data comes through successfully. So we're just gonna do read as array buffer. So I'm not gonna explain all these, but. All right, so we're missing a equal sign there. All right. So let's go ahead and go to the app script side and then we'll come back and finish our success function. So over here, we're going to go to save file and we're using E as our object. So on the side, we're going to create a blob and this is just representing the data. So new blob and then we're gonna grab a couple different things. So we need, first of all, the data and so we store that under bytes. And then we're gonna grab the content type, which was mime type. And then finally, let's do the file name, which we stored under file name. All right, and then we have our folder ID up here. So let's go ahead and go to our drive app. So let folder equal drive app dot get folder by ID. And then we're going to go ahead and grab that. And then we're going to actually create our file inside that folder using a method called create file. And then we're just going to use blob. Now we can just get our file name and file URL, and then we'll pass it back to our HTML. So file name is file.get name. And then let file URL equals file.getURL. And then we're going to return that as an array. We'll go ahead and put file name in the first spot, which is actually index zero. And then file URL is index one. So let me just explain this super quick for you in case you're not familiar with arrays. Let data equal. So this case, file name will be data zero because it starts at zero and this would be one. It was a little confusing, but that's how that works with arrays. So we're gonna return that, and this is gonna come back now. So we say run with success handler, so that data that we got back is gonna get passed into the success. And so inside here now, we can display that link. So first of all, let's just go ahead and hide that progress spinner. And we're going to set it back to the way it was, none. And then let's go ahead and get our, uh, looks like we need an ID here. We'll just call this file upload. Make sure we use the same double brackets on both. And now we can call this file upload. And then we're just gonna replace the inner HTML in this and create our own string. And so I'm not gonna use single quotes here, I'm gonna use a backslash, which is a, usually above the tab on a PC. Um, and then we're just gonna create a quick HTML string here. So I'm gonna use strong to bold this and we'll say file uploaded successfully. And then we're gonna close our strong tag. And then let's go ahead and make a new line and then let's create a uh, hyperlink. And so in HTML, that is a href. And then we're going to make our link in here. And so our link was in the, um, the second spot, which is um, number one in array notation. And so there's that. And then we'll close our href. So let's um, do a target equals blank. So that way, if we actually click on, it, click on the link, we can get it to work. And then for our name here, so we specified the link with our href. And then inside our hyperlink, between the two tags, we can set a title. So let's use that file name, just like that. And so that should get us our display change that we had. And so I think we're all good to go. We can go ahead and authorize this and we'll see if we have any bugs. So I'm gonna go ahead and click run on this unopen to display our menu. Beep. 
permissions. And there we go. So now let's go ahead, no files in here. So let's upload files and make sure we're all good to go. And there we are. So there is our file here. We click on here. Voila. And we successfully uploaded the file to Google Drive. So you could copy this link address if you like. And then if you are working your Google Sheet, you just paste that address there. Um, and it gives you a suggestion there that you could just tab and do that tag um, for their new chips. So that's all it take to upload a file to your Google Drive. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys tune back again soon to watch more of our tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript.